What is going on, Nitro Sites? It is your boy, the Nitro General here, and welcome back to another Pokemon video. And in today's video, we are going to be doing my 100 subscriber special. Finally, this video has been put off quite a while, um, and yeah, it's been put off because, uh, one, I didn't think we'd hit 100 subscribers so fast. Um, like, we gained, like, 15 to 20 subscribers within, like, a two-week period, and that was really crazy because I I'd never gained so many subscribers so fast on this channel before so it, it was kind of crazy so i didn't expect to hit it i didn't really have any ideas of what i wanted to do um and then i started a new job and everything and started seeing this girl and it started it was pushed back like another two weeks because um i didn't have time between the two of those things to make the video so but we finally have the video out i want to start off by saying thank you to every single one of you that has subscribed that has saw this channel saw this face and like hell yeah i want to see this guy play some more pokemon i'm gonna subscribe because that that makes me be unhappy to know that people are enjoying the content and and enjoy me in general so um if you guys like this content if you like this kind of stuff if you want to see more of me then share it with your friends you know let them know that i create good pokemon content because if you share it with your friends then maybe we can hit a thousand subscribers someday and maybe even more than that eventually i i doubt it but um i would be beyond happy because that would be amazing um i would love to be able to make videos like this for you guys full time that would be the best thing in the world uh eventually i'd like to get a good computer set up so i can record pokemon showdown and stuff on the computer instead of on mobile but uh it is what it is i really hope you guys are enjoying it um, and yeah, share it with your friends and everything like that. Make sure you hit the like button too and subscribe if you are new. Um, so all of that good stuff. Now I want to let, before we really get into this, I want to let you guys know what the other two ideas I had for my, uh, 100, blah, 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 my 100 subscriber special was. The first idea that I had, uh, was that I was going to go through Pokemon Home and I was going to show off all the Pokemon that I have, all the shiny, because I have shiny living decks. Um, all the shinies and, and Pokemon Home. Not, I don't have any of the shiny living decks from Sword and Shield, so I don't anymore. But I did have a shiny living deck since since Sword and Shield, or before Sword and Shield. So, but I'm working on the one for Sword and Shield right now. So don't you guys worry, I will have one eventually. But um, yeah. So, so yeah, I was gonna do that. I was gonna show off all these Pokemon or whatever. But I realized that the Pokemon Home app isn't the greatest to try to record with. Um, you can only do it. Uh, in horizontally you can't do it in landscape mode so that kind of sucks because of just the fact that um if you if i try to record in horizontal it doesn't show up well on youtube and it'll show up like um horizontally and nobody wants to watch a video like that horizontally it, it works it works all right on the phone but if you want to tip it to the side extremely small and if you want to watch it on the pc then it's even worse so i decided not to do that strictly because of that reason and the second idea which i can say now but i didn't want to reveal earlier because i thought this was going to be the one that i was going to do was that i was going to do a video teaching my girlfriend how to play pokemon showdown um and i really thought she'd be into that idea you know i asked her and everything like that and then it turns out that uh she wasn't into me either, so um, she left me, and uh, unfortunately, that means that we cannot do that idea. I was actually really, really excited for that, and I really thought that she would want to do that. She had mentioned wanting to learn at some point, and um, didn't didn't turn out very well. So, fortunately, we can't do that one, uh, and I apologize because I really thought that was going to be a good video. But I did finally come up with one, and this is the one that I kind of wanted to do, but I... I wasn't sure how it was going to work, but we're, we're going to figure it out. So, as you can tell, by the channel, t channel, by the title of this video, we're going to be using my first ever team, competitive Pokemon team that I ever created to battle competitively. Uh, now, this is a team that I created back in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, hence the, um, all the, the Sinnoh Pokemon. There's going to be a lot of Sinnoh Pokemon in this that or not Sinnoh, Hoenn Pokemon. Why did I say Sinnoh? I don't know. There's gonna be a lot of Hoenn Pokemon in this uh in this one in this one, all but like a couple of them are Hoenn Pokemon. Um and that is strictly because I got a lot of them in the game. Uh these ones are, are uh, that these ones are actually all shiny because a lot of these are Pokemon that I shiny hunted for and got legitimately and that's why I created the team around them. Um except for this first one here that I will explain here in a minute. But, um, yeah, so there's going to be a lot of Hoenn Pokemon in this in this one, and I just, 
I don't know. Hoenn is not my favorite region. It's definitely the most nostalgic for me because I started in Pokemon Emerald. was my first Pokemon game that I ever played, that I remember playing at least. And, um, and yeah, but my favorite region is definitely probably Sinnoh. Probably, I don't know, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum were my favorite um, Pokemon games. That is Sinnoh, right? Like, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it is. It's Sinnoh. Yeah, okay. Um, so, they're my favorite Pokemon games, and they're just... Well, I don't know. I like Heart, Gold, and Soul, Silver, but Sinnoh is just my favorite region. It's got a lot of awesome Pokemon. I just love the, the setup of it and everything like that. But uh, definitely... Uh, Hoenn is definitely the most nostalgic for me. So we're just going to do a quick team builder here, going over the Pokemon that I'm going to be using. Not very long, because I don't want to drag this on. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do some battles with it. Obviously, as you can see over here, the format that I'm going to be using is Gen 7 Ubers, because that is the only one, really, that I could figure out that allows you to lose uh, use Mega Blaze again. I was going to do the National Dex um, format, but the National Dex bans Blaze again, Mega Blaze again. And the whole point... Of doing this video is just to use my competitive my first competitive team and that includes Blaziken and he's the most important member so um, I had to figure out a format to be able to use that so we're gonna be going back to the gen 7 ubers which is um, like basically sword and shield singles uh, this team was not set up for doubles um, I personally love doubles more than I love singles <clears throat> just because uh, I don't know, there's a lot more fun things you can do in doubles than you can in singles. A lot more different strategies and stuff like that. And a lot, I just love it a lot more. And I'm trying to get into VGC anyways, which um, the only thing I'm not doing is the whole Dynamax thing, because I hate the Dynamax uh, thing in competitive. I think it's really stupid, but um, yeah, so that is why I am... I'm really into doubles, but when I started, like everybody else who starts, they usually start in singles, which is where this team comes into play because this is not set up for doubles and I was not going to try to reset it for doubles because this is the exact team that I used. Um, a lot of, there are a couple moves that I changed. Um, and obviously the stats had changed because back then I didn't know anything about, um, IVs and e IVs and EVs just because it was just the beginning of when I started competitive Pokemon. So I didn't know too much until like sword and shield is when I really got, or not sword and shield, uh, ultra sun and moon is when I really got into EVs and IV training. But uh, before that, I didn't know that much, so the stats are going to be a little bit different and stuff like that. So let's just get right into the team builder. So the first Pokemon up on this team is Peppy Paul, the Mega Blaziken. Now, Peppy Paul, the reason why he's so important to me is because not only is Blaziken my favorite Pokemon of all time, but it's be the whole reason he's my favorite Pokemon of all time. Previously, it was Machamp, but now it is Peppy Paul or Blaziken, because I had, I got a shiny Torchic and Wonder Trait at the very end of Pokemon X and Y, and I actually saved it to use in my Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire playthrough, because it was like right, it was like months before Pokemon, the Oraz came out, so I saved it, and I used it in my playthrough, picked Mudkip as my starter, and used this guy ever since, so that is why he's my favorite Pokemon, that's why he's so important, because I've had him on my team for what, like six years now, six, seven years, which is like super crazy to me, but yeah, so he is Mega Blaziken, obviously holding the Blazekenite, he's obviously got the speed boost ability, and then he's got Sword Stance, Flare Blitz, High Jump Kick, and Quick Attack, uh, Sword Dance is pretty good just to set up in front of, in front of people, just so, um, just so you can you know, have a plus attack, plus two attack with every sword stance you, you get. Now, it is a little bit more risky to go for it in singles because you can't redirect in singles and stuff like that, but he should still be able to go for a sword stance. Flare Blitz for a good fire-type stab and high jump kick for a good fighting-type stab. Now, the only thing is is that a high jump kick does have a chance to miss, and be, if you do miss with high jump kick, then you take a lot of damage because you come crashing to the ground. So that is something that you we have to worry about because in a couple my practice battles I did lose only because of a high jump kick miss and it is 90% accurate I do believe oh not no not agility why would I want agility no 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 I don't want that I want high jump kick wherever that is okay uh where's high jump kick do people not want to use high jump kick just because of the accuracy thing like come on man 
Where? Okay, there it is. Yeah, so it's got a 90% accuracy. So it's only got a 10% chance to miss, which is um, which is okay. But again, if you do have that 10% miss, uh, you will be taking a lot of damage. And then quick attack for good priority, just so you can take out the... If they have like a little bit of health left. I thought he learned Mach Punch, but I guess... Peppy, I guess Blaziken does not. I will keep wanting to call him Peppy Paul because that's what I've always called him. But I guess Blaziken does not learn Mach Punch. And I really thought he did, and I guess he didn't. So, yeah. The stats are he has 252 uh, EVs in attack just to be hitting as hard as he can. 252 in speed to move as fast as he can. And I, then I put the rest in HP. That way he um, can be taking as many hits as he can be. But the 4 is not going to be doing very much. Um, and then the next one we have on this list is Batsy the Crobat. Uh, he's holding the Black Sludge for some recovery, and he has the Inner Focus, which um, allows him to be immune to stuff like Fake Out, um, and then Iron Head flinches and stuff like that. So, of course, um, Fake Out not being as good in in um, singles because you're just wasting a whole turn, really, unless you unless he doesn't have that much health left. But um, it's, it's really, he doesn't really get too much other good abilities, so I think Inner Focus was the best. Uh, he's got Brave Bird, Haze, Cross Poison, and Toxic. Brave, uh, Brave Bird for good stab, Cross Poison for good stab, Toxic to poison, and being used by a Poison-type Pokemon, Toxic can never miss. And then Haze to get rid of uh, stat changes. So if we go against the Pokemon with like a Mega Aggron that wants to use Iron Defense, we can just haze off the defense races, along with a Pokemon that wants to use Swords Dance or something. You can get rid of that with haze. Um, and then, so we have 252 in HP, so he'll be taking as many hits as he can. Um, he's not really known for his um, attack. I don't know why it, this is in uh, special defense. Should be in special attack, right? Because these are, no, physical, why? Okay, this is kind of screwed up a little bit. It should be in physical attack. There we go. Okay. All right, yeah. Because what I was going to... Oh, I guess I see what I was going to do because a lot of... Um, yeah, I see what I was going to do. I was trying to make him as bulk as he can because a lot of the uh, most moves that are hit um, him super effectively are going to be uh, special attacking moves. So, yeah, I understand why I did that, but I think I wanted to do it in attack anyways just so he can hit as hard as he can. He doesn't have the best attack stat. Um, the whole reason why Crobat was on this team at all... It's just because I love Crobat. I love all of these, well, most of these Pokemon. But Crobat and Blaziken, actually, there's three of my top five favorite Pokemon on this team. And uh, Crobat, actually, the first three are all three of my favorite Pokemon. Uh, I love Crobat, one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, top five favorite Pokemon. And that's the only reason why he's on this team, not because he's good competitively, just because I love using him in general. So you kind of have to use him. And yeah. Next one on this list is Marvel, another one of my top five favorite Pokemon of all time. Love this Pokemon. It's a beautiful Pokemon. It's got Leftovers with Competitive, um, and now it has Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, Recover, and Protect. Hydro Pump for good stab. Of course, you do have to worry about missing with the Hydro Pump. Uh, Ice Beam is good for not stab, but it's good for a lot of the Dragon types. A lot, you know, Mega Rayquaza was really popular in this generation. So was Salamance, so it, it's really good for both of them. Uh, recover to recover health and protect, so, you know, you don't take a hit from that turn. And then 252 in HP, 252 in... That should that definitely should be in special attack. That one I know I wasn't putting in special defense. Um, and then 4 in speed. Um, of course, Melodic is not known for its speed, so... Um, I didn't. I just put it in there just in case it, you know few, the few points will help it outspeed something, but um, but yeah, the special. It definitely needs a good special attack. Uh, it already has a pretty good special attack, but th this will allow it to hit pretty hard. The next one up on this list is Heavy Metal, the Metagross with the Life Orb and Clear Body. So this is actually the shiny Beldum that you guys that we got at the beginning of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. When it first came out, there was a gift shiny beldum that you could get and this was actually the gift shiny beldum so yes that that's why this one was on the team clear body allows me to be immune to stuff like intimidate stuff like that um he's holding a life orb for an extra ump for attack and then he's got meteor mash for stabs and headbutt for stabs stealth rock to set up hazards 
and bullet punch for good priority, so so that's nice. He's got 252 EVs in HP and 252 in attack. His attack is already extremely well. He's going to be hitting, like, super, super hard, but yeah, and then HP just so we can stay along, and then um, I threw four into the special defense because that's lower than his defense. That's really the only reason why. The second to last Pokemon up on this list is Lightning the Salamance holding the Yachi Berry with Intimidate. Now, the Yachi Berry basically makes me uh, take less damage to Ice Attacks. I believe the... Uh, I think that's the one I picked, right? Yeah, okay. So, it is. It takes less damage from Ice Attacks, which is good. So, if I come across, like, a Melodic with Ice Beam or something, I don't have to worry about it. It's it's the only four times weakness that Lightning has in this generation. So, the Yachi Berry will be good for that. And Intimidate, good for taking down, you know, attacks. And then Dra Draco Meteor, Defog, Roost, and Stone Edge. Draco Meteor for Stab. Defog to get rid of hazards because there are a few Pokemon on this team that don't like Stealth Rocks and it allows me to get rid of Spikes, Toxic Spikes, all that stuff. Uh, Roost for healing and then Stone Edge, another good move, I think, just to hit pretty hard. Um, of course, he is a special attacker, but I think it's Stone, Stone Edge could be good in some situations. I don't know what else really to give them. Um, it's been a long time since I used really any of these Pokemon competitively or seen them used competitively. So, um, I don't really know what else to give him at this point. I could have gave him something like Air Slash, but uh, I didn't really see the point since we have uh, Batsy in the back. But, um, yeah, so that's it. And he's got 252 in HP, 252 in Special Attack, um, and he's got 4 in Speed. So... He'll be hitting pretty hard, uh, I believe, with the special attack. Normally, I think Salamance is known for his regular attack, but I tried my best to, to make his special attack better since I think Draco Meteor is better than Dragon Claw since that's the only physical type dragon move. But yeah, so on to our last Pokemon here, and that is Shadow of the Dustnor with holding the spell tag with Frisk. With Frisk, Go Frisk um, obviously allows me to see the items, and spell tag allows me to uh, buff up my ghost type moves. He's got Shadow Punch, Shadow Sneak, Thunder Punch, and Taunt. Thunder Punch, because we really don't have anything for water types on this team at all. And other than Stone Edge and Salamance, we don't have anything for flying types either. Um, well, I guess we have Ice Beam too. Uh, Shadow Punch is good because it's the only physical type ghost type move. Of course, he can't learn Poltergeist right now because this is in Generation 7. Yeah. And then Thunder Punch is good. Sh uh, Shadow Punch... Or Shadow Sneak, I should say, for priority. And Taunt is just good so people so they can't go for, like, Belly Drums or Swords Dance or stuff like that. So that is the team we're going to be using. Uh, let's just jump right into some battles now. Uh, I should definitely go here. So we are going to go to... What's Pet Mode? Mega Max. Uh, Gen 7 Ubers. Okay. So we have this team here that we are going to be using. Why is this, like, not letting me? You have no Gen 7 teams. UU teams. What? Oh, wait. Why is this? Okay, so let's just do this in Gen 7. Oh, wait, wait. Was uh, Blaziken not? I don't, wait. Can you not use? Okay. Okay, there, or, wait. Can it not be used in UU? Whatever, I don't know. But let's just go back and we'll... Um, why can't I... Why can't I select Ubers? There we go. Okay, here we are. Uh, so, off to a little bit of a rough start in this video. Uh, hopefully I don't seem a little flustered, but... Okay, I already found a battle. Wow, this is just stupid. This is legitimately just all legendaries except for Volcarona. Yeah, we're not winning this, guys. We're definitely not winning this. This video isn't going to be about winning or losing. It's just going to be about having fun and using this team that I haven't used in a long time. So we're just going to lead off Peppy Paw, right? There's no sense in leading off anything else. This guy, hopefully... Okay, okay. Best case scenario for us, right? Best case scenario, we're just going to Mega Evolve here and we're going to Flare Blitz. Uh, I, I don't... Oh, so what the fudge? What? Oh, he's 1.5 special attack because of download? Is that... Like, what? Man, I hate people who just use all legendary Pokemon like this. Like, we can't win this, I don't think. I can't... You know, are you... Okay, you are steel. Okay. So, we'll Brave Bird here, but I don't really think we... I mean, see, he's just going to Techno Blast to take me out here. Thunder... Okay, of course he runs Thunderbolt. Why wouldn't he run Thunderbolt? <sighs> like, I don't, we definitely can't win. I'm going to go into Shadow here. 
dubious drive, whatever typing that makes it not. Uh, we'll go Shadow Punch here. Uh, Techno Blast again. Wow, this is literally insane. Like, wow, we're going to go for a Shadow Sneak here. But there's no way we can win this battle anyways. But like I said, this video is not about uh, winning or losing. Just about having fun with an old team of mine. You know, I, it's been a, it's been like two years since I've even used these Pokemon competitively. I've been really into other ones. Uh, so there's no sense of doing anything here now. Is Volcarona faster than me? Speed is could be 328. Oh, yeah. He's definitely... So we're just going to go for a Shadow Sneak to get off some damage. And let Vulc... Oh, Quiver Dance. No. No, thank you. Going to go for another Shadow Sneak. Oh, no. He's going to just let me take Volcarona? Oh, please tell me you're just going to let me take Volcarona here. Oh, my God. He let me take Volcarona. That was kind of crazy. I don't know why he did... Now, Exodius can just Geomancy here. Like... Again, I'm just going to go for a Shadow Sneak because I don't think we can outspeed it. It's going to go for a Geomancy. There's the Geomancy. Um, yeah, okay. Geomancy is in a, like an insane move. And uh, there's no way we can win like at all now, like whatsoever. I have nothing for Xerneas. Uh Well, we can go into Heavy Metal here. And we can try to Bullet Punch. Uh, we'll see how much that wants to do. Doesn't take it out. Um... If it doesn't K... Oh, he's got Focus Blast. Damn. All right. So, we definitely can't win this now. We'll, do we... I mean, we're, we're going to go into Marvel here. There's no sense in doing anything else. And I guess I can go for... Like, I don't want to go for a Hydro Pump because I'm afraid... I, well, I don't know for a Hydro Pump. We can't win anyways. Um, wow, that took me down to 3%. Watch me miss this Hydro Pump just for, Okay. So, we take it out, but there's no way we can win at all. Like, I mean, we managed to take all three of his Pokemon, so that's really the only thing that matters. Like, um, he's going to send out Mewtwo now, which Mewtwo could be 394. Um, yeah, so we're not outspeeding at all. I'm going to protect, see what he wants to do. And he evolves into Mega Mewtwo, and we can't, definitely can't win. And he goes for a bulk up. No! <laughs> well, we're just going to go for a Hydro Puff here. He's going to, gonna, oh, shit, we could have went for recover, but uh, no sense. We're going to go into Lightning now. Um, <laughs> and then we're just going to Draco Meteor. There's no voice. Man, he poison jabbed and he gets the poison. Why wouldn't he? Takes it down to 33%. Like, I, we, we legitimately can't win this. But, um, no, Draco Meteor, he's going to poison jab again. It's going to knock me out. Well, GG's to, uh, my opponent there. But, um, <laughs> you can't, you couldn't win that anyways. But uh, we, we definitely tried our best. I definitely think. Another. Why is there so many legendary Pokemon on these teams? What is that? Level 88, 88, and 89. Like, I don't understand. Is that Silvali? What the hell, man? Like, why are so many people using? Is that Silvali Fire? Like, we'll tell, okay, so it is. So I think we just Mega Evolve and try High Jump Kick here. Uh, he's got Surf. Wow. Okay. So we have 1.5 speed. Please tell me that's enough to outspeed. speed. Okay. Cool. Arceus taken out. Threat nullified. Now he has a Kartana. There's the Kartana. Which I am just going to Flare Blitz here, right? You son of a biatch. Oh, okay. Okay. So we can just quick attack here. And I'm, I'm hoping that'll be enough to take it out. I'm hoping it'll be... Is it? It is. Okay, cool. Um, so we still have 1% health left. Kiram, please let me take you out here with Flare Blitz. Oh, please. Oh, 40%. That's insane. That's so good. That is so good. Okay. Um, who do I want to, I'm going to go into Heavy Metal here and we're going to Bullet Punch, right? Because it'll be super effective. Or no, it won't, but we're just going to try Bullet Punch anyways. Right? It's, Seal's not super effective against Ice. What am I thinking right now? And where we go, we take out the Kiram. Goes to show that you can't always just use legendaries and win. Tapu Koko, there it is. Um, I don't know why he's going in here. I'm just going to bullet punch again. Um, it takes down to 52. Let's see how much he wants to do. Oh, Z move. Is that... F okay, so we can't... We are faster, right? It could be 347. No, I, I we're definitely not going to outspeed, so I'm just going to go for that again. Um... Dazzling Gleam takes me out. What do I have priority on right now? Okay, we're gonna go to Dusnoir. 
And we are going to use uh, Shadow Sneak. Let's see what he wants to do. See, just I'm assuming he lets it go down. I don't think he switches out to Kartana. There's no sense. Um, I don't think Pikachu can do anything here, but we'll see. Oh, I see why he... Oh, okay. Pikachu. Okay, so we can just... Oh, he got a static on me. That's not great. Let's go for another Shadow Sneak. It'll take him out. Like, that wasn't a crit. Um, man, I don't know what... I, I've seen, like, a lot of people try to use Pikachu in different situations. I know he's the mascot, but... And I feel like you can do stuff with Pikachu, but it, it's hard. Especially once... If you don't know, like, really what you're doing, it's hard to use a Pokemon that is not great. Like, Raichu is, is decent, and he's but he's not, like, amazing. Let's see what he... I don't know what he wants to do here. I mean, Kartana is still a threat. Why? I don't know why he tried to, to do that. Um, Kartana is still a threat. Uh, Kartana is what? G grass and steel. Okay, so... What is... Uh, I can't let him take me out here, right? So, grass and steel. Who do I... I should have went for a fire-type move on lightning. That's, I should have went with, like, flamethrower or something, shouldn't I? Um, I feel like... Okay, so he just far forfeited. I don't think there's any way for him to win that one anyways. Uh, so that, I'm gonna count that one as a win, but like I said, we're not, we're not going for wins or losses in this video, just gonna have a good time using a battle for my 100 subscriber special. Why does everybody just want to use legendaries? And a Magikarp! <laughs> what? I mean, who's, I like, I got, I'm gonna leave Dust Noir here, cause he's good against everyone but Groudon, uh, Magikarp and um, Dialga. For some reason, I couldn't think of Dialga, even though Pokey is my favorite legendary. Groudon. He's gonna Primal Evolve. Of course he is. Should I just... I'm just gonna go out to Melodic, even though he's just gonna take a ton of damage here. Like, obviously he's gonna take a 10, but I kind of have to keep Shadow around for other Pokemon. Um, so he is just gonna go for an Earthquake, and I knew that's what he was going for. But should I switch... Actually, we're going to switch out into Lightning in here and anticipate another Earthquake. Okay, cool. We, we anticipated it. Let's see how much he wants to take from a Draco Meteor. All right. <sighs> well, we didn't take too much there. But Ruby Tuesday, I just saw that name. But, uh... Deoxys Defense, so he, how much is Deoxys, okay, so 54, um, it's thick, okay, uh, should I just go into Shadow here, like, I don't think I lose anything from going in there, he can't really, does he have Shadow Ball, oh, Toxic, not great, not great at all, um, I feel like I should just go for a Shadow Punch here, like, he's gonna go for a sub, which is not great, do I, Okay, so I do fade his sub. Um, but what does he want to go for here? Does he have... Okay. Okay, so he's going to go for recover. Oh, man, how much is Shadow Punch going to do with the Shadow Tag? It does 43, so I'm just free just to go for another another Shadow Punch. I don't know if he goes for another recover. He goes for a sub here. I'm just going to take it out with Shadow Punch. Um, and I think I think he's in... I, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that he's in Shadow Sneak range. He is, and we get the crit. Um, of course, Darkrai and Mewtwo are still weak to Shadow. And he goes into Darkrai's. Why did I think he was Ghost? Like, he looks like a Ghost type. And I thought about that right as far as he comes out. I was like, he's not Ghost. Like, I can't. Like, I don't know. Um, I guess we can go into Heavy Metal here. I don't see any reason not to. He goes for a nasty plot. Uh-oh. Um, I don't think Stealth Rock should be good in this situation. I'm just gonna go for a Bullet Punch, see how much that does. It does quite a bit. Um, Hypnosis, not great at all. Okay, is he, does he, is he gonna have Dream Meter? I'm gonna go for Dark Pulse. Ooh. No like. Okay, so I think, now we just gotta go into Pepe Paul and High Jump Kick, right? That's our best bet here. Mega Evolve, High Jump Kick. Um... So, he, oh, he missed the hypnosis. That's huge. Oh, Tobias goes down. Now, I really feel like Peppy Paul's really, really good. 
good in this situation here. He's going to go for Bob. Okay, so I am just going to go straight for a Flare Blitz because I know that I'm going to go... I may. Oh my god, we just take it out? He, the only thing he has right now that's super effective against me... Oh my god, he is literally just going to let me have this. Um, how much Roar of Time is going to take me out? Must recharge on the next turn. Okay. We're going to go into Shadow here and just Shadow Sneak, right? That's... Yeah, we're just going to go in there Shadow Sneak. I think this takes it out. I think it does. He can't switch out because of the must recharge. Please take it. Oh, it doesn't take it out. We didn't go down. Mm. He wants to try to save it. Damn. Okay. So we're going to go into Marvel here. And then we're just going to switch out into Lightning. So he's going to go for... Now I don't think we can win. Is he supposed to go for an Earthquake? Damn, he went for Hammer Arm. Um, how much are you going to take to Draco Meteor? That's what I want to know. 21% he takes. Or he goes down 21%. Iron Head? I think we should just go for another. Like, there's no sense in not going for another Draco. Okay, cool. I think we win this now. I think we win this now. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything he can do. He's going to go on to Out West. We'll just go Draco Meteor again. There's no sense in trying to roost. He does have Ice Beam. I do have the Yachi Berry. Does that mean I survive? It doesn't. We are going to go into Batsy here. Um, and we are going to... Man, it's... Oh, man. Okay. I was like, wait. Does that not take him out? Because I was like... But, okay. So, now we should automatically... Uh, Magikarp. Shiny Magikarp. Cool. Um, does he have... Do you have Focus Sash? Are you going to try to, like, do something here? Man, they didn't take him out. I guess Crobat isn't as good as I thought. Um, but, all right. Bounce, that doesn't do anything. I gets, gets a pro. Watch him, like, hack and have, like, Psychic or some shit. Hydro Pump. <laughs> well, all right. Well, GG's to one for... One Foot Ranger? Is that, is that what your name is? One Foot Ranger? Uh, that definitely it proves that if you even have all legendary Pokemon, it doesn't mean you're going to win. Uh, but I definitely think that, uh, you know, switching into Salamence early game and avoiding that earthquake was really good. Uh, and I definitely think I probably should have just went for a Shadow Punch on the must on the Diaglo who had to muster charge because that was a really stupid play on my part because I was like, I should Shadow Seek just in case, but he couldn't attack that one anyways. There's the Mega Rayquaza. Okay, so this is a really, really scary team, right? Mega Rayquaza. Unless they're just regular Mayquaza and then Mega Lucario or Garchomp, but I believe it's Mega Rayquaza. Lickalicky, I don't think can really do anything. Spiritomb is kind of weird, but um, so here's a team that I'm going to guess we're just going to lose at. And I feel like we should just lead with Peppy Paul, but also if they want to lead, you know, well, they're going to leave Marvel just in case he wants to lead with. Yeah, okay. Well, he leads with Garchomp. Is that his Mega? Let's just Ice Beam. I could have protected. No, Brick Break. Okay. Just, yeah, just takes it out. Cool. I doubt he goes into... He can't just... Okay, Licky Licky. Um, I feel like I should go... He's going to have Thunderbolt, right? Like, is Batsy any good in this situation? Like, at all? No, we're going to go to Batsy, right? We're going to sack him. Whatever. He's going to go for Thunder Punch. Yeah, there it is. Thunderbolt, Thunder Punch. Same thing. Um, so, that's totally fine. We'll go for a Toxic here. Uh, takes out, or Toxic, Licky Licky. He's going to go for Thunder Punch again. We'll sack him. That's totally fine. That's what my plan was, so I could get in Blaziken here. Um, of course, Blaziken is really good on a lot of these Pokemon. So I'm just going to Mega, Mega Evolve and High Jump Kick. Hopefully we don't miss. He doesn't switch out. Take, just takes it out. Cool. It probably had Surf, too. Um, who do they want to go into? Rayquaza. There it is. There's the thing that I am really, really scared about. Um, did he not go for... I kind of want to go into Lightning. I'm going to go into Lightning here, and this is a really, really bad play because he can easily take out Lightning, but and he doesn't even... Well, now I have... Now if he doesn't take out... Uh, we're going for Draco. If he doesn't take out Lightning here, 
Um, we'll, ha we'll get a Draco off. He if he does, we're just gonna go into Melodic and Ice Beam. So what do you want to do with Drake? He is gonna. He is. Wow. Okay. Um, now I feel like we have to go for a Draco again. Hidden Power Ice. I'm guessing. Take out the Rose Raid. That's totally good. Year. Cool. Uh, now who do you want to go back into? Spirit Tomb. Okay. Spirit Tomb is Ghost Dark. I am just going to Roost here. Get some of my, this health back. He's going to Shadow Ball. Not going to do very much. We're going to Roost one more time. Okay. Calm Mind. Special Attack and Special Defense Raise. We're going to go for a Draco. How much does this want to do? Wow. Okay. That doesn't do anything. Oh, no. Not good here, guys, at all. Okay. Um, we got to switch... Who do I want to switch into? Like, I'm really scared to go into Peppy Paul, but I, I think I have to. Please don't go for a psychic move. Please don't go for a psychic... Calm mind again. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. I have to go for a Flare Blitz here. I have to just straight up go for a Flare Blitz. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's going to go for a psychic. He's going to... He's... Oh, my God. He's just going to give me it. He's just going to give me it? He, should... he goes down here with another Flare Blitz. He just straight up goes down here. Oh, <gasps> Guys, did we win another battle here? This would be awesome. Rayquaza. Again, scary. Very scary. Going to go into lightning. I'm, I'm assuming he's going to guess that, and he does. So, And he doesn't take out lightning. De and he doesn't mega evolve? Why aren't you mega evolved? What? So now we just go into Marvel. And we just straight up Ice Beam here, right? Like, they're, they're, like, we just dragging a sand. <gasps> Marvel, you absolute beast. <laughs> Marvel, you absolute beast. Okay, now we have, now we obviously just win. So we're going to Hydro Pump here. Oh, okay, so that's your Mega. That makes sense, right? But Flare Blitz should just take it out. Wait, if, if Peppy Paul doesn't take you out here, we lose, right? So we got to go for a Flare Blitz because... Oh my god, no! Uh oh. How much does Shadow Punch go? Oh, he's got Dark Pulse. Oh no! Oh no, I got a Shadow Sneak here. Wait, please tell me, is that in Bullet Punch range? Is that. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I don't, is that in bullet punch range? It was in bullet punch range! Oh, boo! GG to my opponent. We're going to try to get one more battle in this video, guys. Just one more. Just one more. That's crazy to me. That that was an awesome battle. Oh, both these video, both these battles that I have won so far have been really good battles. We're going to try to get one more in. Um, okay, so another Melodic. Another shirt. Okay. So, I think... Ludi Loco is going to come out first, right? I'm going to leave Batsy because of that. Because I think he's going to come... Melodic comes out first. Okay. Um, right, let's Toxic it. See what it wants. Oh, it's probably got Ice Beam too, right? Icy Wind. Um, so, now I think I should... Definitely switch out to Dusnor. Dusnor. Because... Thunder Punch is really good in this situation, and I don't really have grass type. Like, I don't have grass typing on this team at all. So I'm not gonna be able to hit a lot of stuff for super effective. So I'm gonna go for Thunderbolt or Thunder Punch, see what he wants to do. Um Oh, he's got Alright, I'm gonna go for a Shadow Sneak here. Let's see how much that wants to do. It doesn't take it out, but I feel like whatever he's gonna Oh, he's got rest. Come on. Uh, why rest and not recover? Probably because recover doesn't heal everything. Uh, that sucks. Okay, so I think we automatically just lose. Like, I don't really think there's very much we can do here. Like, at all. Like, whatsoever. I'm just going to go on Heavy Metal here. Um, I'm going to go for Stealth Rock just to break any potential Focus Sashes. Um, just break any potential focus sashes here. Of course, rocks aren't going to be super effective against anything here, like at all. But um, now I think we go for a meteor mash. But it woke up. What is it going to go for? Scald. It called its wake up. Well, 
Man, that sucks. Rocky Helmet sucks. How much is Bullet Punch going to do at this range? It doesn't even take it out, and it's just going to go for another rest here, right? 100% rest. Yeah, fudge that. I'm going to forfeit here. There, there's no sense. Um, we're, we're just going to lose. So uh, we're just going to get another battle. The only reason I forfeited there is just because I wanted to get it up. All right, here. All right, this is what you want to do. Are you really going to go Primal Ky Kyogre and Primal God on? Like, that's just, I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. And Mega Mewtwo, like, I don't want to, I don't want to do this. Like, come on. Like, come on. Let, let's find a good last battle to do for this video. This is our 100 subscribers special. Come on. We had two really good wins. I don't want to just end it on a on a loss where somebody just wants to run all legendary Pokemon. Because, like, I understand that a lot of good, there are a lot of good legendaries in, uh, in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, including the Primals. But when you just run all legendary Pokemon, it's just not fun, right? That That's just my opinion, is that using all legendary Pokemon is not fun. That's why I don't tend to use any in my competitive battles. I have been using Urshifu, but that is the first time, really, that I've done... Okay, so here we go. Um, They have Tox effects, and I hate Tox effects. Okay. Kind of want to leave with Melodic because of... Well, we don't need Dust Noir. Right, that's our best bet, I think. Obviously, we have uh, Zen Headbutt for Toxapex. I just, yeah. So, see what he wants to do. He does lead a Boy Scout, and I think he's going to get Toxic Spikes up, right? We're just going to go for a Thunder Punch, see how much that one wants to do. 62. He's down to 62. He does just go for Toxic Spikes. Like I said, uh, we obviously... I think I want to take out this thing. And then we can go into Salamance and um, just defog them away. Yeah, that, uh, that's our best bet here. Uh, man, he's going to go into Obama. Damn. Well, we can't really get... Uh, I don't know what you want to do. I'm just going to Shadow Punch. Damn it. Oh, he went for Regenerator. Uh, so we're just gonna go for another Thunder Punch. Don't switch out here. Don't switch out and go into Garchomp. It just, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Screw it. I'm gonna go for Thunder Punch again. Haha! -ha. Played you like a piece of crap. Now I'm going to Shadow Sneak. He did it again. Stop it. That, this is stupid. That was so stupid. Now we have to go into Salamance here. Uh, we gotta go into Salamance. And I feel like I should defog. I'm gonna defog. Um, aha! Hoo hoo hoo. Defog. Poison spikes are gone. What do you have? Oh, nine. That's bad, man. Uh, what do I... I have Stone Edge. Man, you're one switchy boy, aren't you? How much is Frogger taken from a Draco? Ice Beam, crap. I have the Yachi. Oh, crap. That's so... That hurts. Okay, crap. Um, I'm going to go into Peppy Paul here. It's a little early to be using my Mega, but I don't really care. I'm going to Flare Blitz. Probably got a High Jump Kick instead. I don't know... Is he gonna... See, because this is his Mega 2. It, it is. It 100% is. I'm gonna go for another Flare Blitz. Straight up. Like, I don't care. Another Flare Blitz. Toxic Perks! Uh, bro, stop playing these games, man. Like what? Do we, Can't we just, like, high jump kick here? God damn you! Like, what are you... There, take that! I hope you liked getting one shot by me. All of his Pokemon are going to... Like, Toxapex, I have to just straight up high jump kick here. Like, what are you going to... I mean, I guess you can go into Aegislash. He doesn't. He's going to get Toxic Spikes up again. Recover. Crap. Crap. Um... Yeah, we just gotta go for another high jump kick here. There, there's nothing else to do. He's gonna go for recover again. I guarantee it. 
Oh, toxic spikes. Um, now, now we can't get rid of them. I'm gonna go into Crobat. Can we absorb them? I don't think Crobat can. No. All right. So we just go for a Bray Bird here. Come on, take it out. Okay, cool. Toxic Spec is gone. My least favorite. I hate Toxic Specs like with a passion. Like it's my least favorite Pokemon to go against. Like ever. Now we don't have anything for. Um. Well, now I just gotta. Uh, like I don't think we can win this. Obviously, I knew he was going into that. Or, I knew he was going to go for Ice Beam. That's why I switched out. And I feel like... What does he switch out here to? Oh, but either way, I think I just Meteor Mash. I knew he was... I, Skarmory was, like, the only one that I figured he would switch out to if he did. Um, and now I, I, like... Like, this dude is switching out, like, left, right, and center, man. Like, he just... Now he gets Stealth Rocks up. And I don't have anything to get rid of. My hazard remove is gone. Um, does he stay in here? Like, he wouldn't stay in here, right? Fuck it, I'm going cross but Damn it! Man, he just... Yeah, I don't think I can win this. But we're just going to Brave Bird here. Wow, I can't believe he stayed in. This dude has been like... A pain in my butt. Big Daddy Brady can, like, Big Daddy Brady or whatever. But you can, like, you can honestly screw off with this whole, um, like, I'm just going to go for Hydro Pump. He stays in. I can't believe he No, he's just going to go into Greninja or, because he can't go into Blaze again. He's going to go into Greninja or Aegislash here, but we can't win. There's, uh... Like, let's see what he wants to do, right? Let's just see what he wants to do here. We'll protect. Hidden power what? Hidden power grass. Oh, please. Like, oh, he's not going to be able to outspeed. I'm just going to go for an ice beam here, right? Okay, how much is ice beam going to do? Takes down to 18%. Um, just going to straight up go for another ice beam here. Another hidden power. Now, Metagross cannot win this. He He just can't. As much as I would love to believe Metagross can win this, he just can't, right? I'm going to go for a bullet or a bullet punch here, but he can't. And now he's going to go into Blaziken, and Blaziken's faster. And 100%, there's, there's the chicken ladder. He will Mega Evolve. We'll go, for, we'll go for a Meteor Mash, but there... Why did he ignore my, my priority, right? And now we'll go to a, down to a 1v1, but there's no way Heavy Metal 1v1s uh, that, because he can... Ha obviously, he can have... Like, we'll see how much this does. Um, well, there, no, no, it's stupid. Uh, okay, well, I have clear body, so, but we'll see how much. Yeah, 78, he's got, he's gonna have Shadow Ball. He's gonna have Shadow Ball or Shadow, yeah, there it is. Well, GG's to Big Daddy Braddy. Um, we did bring it down to a 1v1, so I'm pretty sure I, I brought it back, but, um, that was, that was a good battle, but that is going to be it for our 100 subscribers special, guys. Um, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this battle of me battle of me doing singles, which I'm not used to. It's been a long time since I've done singles, so I was a little rusty. But a little, it's been a while since I used singles. It's been a while since I used these Pokemon. It's been a while since I did this format. I'm not used to fighting all these legendaries, but I think I held up pretty well. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and hit that bell so when I do release another Pokemon Showdown video, prop, I'll, I'm going to say Thursday, but I'm not 100% sure. We'll see. Just depends on time wise. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Again, if you like this, share it with your friends. You know, if we can get me to a thousand subscribers so we can get partnered and make videos for you guys full time, that would be fantastic. I would love it so much. And I, I really appreciate every single one of you guys who are leaving a like. And it really means a lot that you guys leave a like on this video in any of my videos. Like, it, it really does mean a lot. It means more than you guys never know. But other than that, guys, that is it for me. I really hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video. Nice your general out. Peace.